Hi, uh, welcome to my channel Astro Journey UK. Uh, today what I'm going to do is uh, just very quickly run through um, a, an image processing session using some Hubble telescope data. Um, so I've been, uh, well I follow um, a fellow YouTuber and uh, Instagrammer called Peculiar Galaxy Astronomy. Um, and what she does is um, basically an awful lot of processing of uh, Hubble images. Um, and I've just been really, really, really impressed with um, the, the quality of the Hubble data, naturally, um, but also uh, the really good work that she does. Um, so you can see here um, her YouTube channel. Um, please uh, go along and subscribe to her channel and see what she's uh, doing there. So uh, where we get this data from is the uh, Hubble Legacy Archive. Um, so the, uh, you can see the URL there. I'll link to that in the description as well. Um, so what we'll do is just search for uh, M51 Galaxy. Um, I really quite like that, the Whirlpool Galaxy. Uh, it's just got loads of detail and is a really interesting target. Um, so you can see that there's uh, quite a lot of results here, 59 pages, 20 per page, um, but we're just going to be using the, the first four here. Um, so you can see here there's four images. Um, they've got, uh, I think that the frequency is in the title of the image. Um, so you can see 435, 555, 658 and 814. Um, and what we're going to do is use, um, so that's the, the red channel, the green channel, the blue channel, and we'll use this as the sort of luminance layer or the, uh, the HA layer effectively. So to download these, just right click on Fit Science um, and then download the linked file. Um, and then for, for those four images. So just to save time, I've got those images already downloaded um, and we're just gonna select those four images and drag those into PixInsight. Let's wait for those to load. What we'll do is just, uh, just quickly take this one, um, which is the HA layer, and just stretch that and you can see the, the image itself. So you don't, well, some of these images you don't really need to do an awful lot of processing, but actually what we first need to do with this is just to um, sort out the crop because um, not the whole image is, um, is the actual uh, subject itself. There's a little bit of black area around. So we just uh, use dynamic crop um, to crop this image. Um, let's make sure that's pretty much in the area of interest. I'm not going to make it perfect, but that, that will do. Um, and then just drag the triangle onto the other images to make the same crop. Uh, do the same for the green channel. You can sort of rename these images in the channels, but they're, they're going to be uh, very short lived as individual files because we don't really need to do much processing to them. So click the tick to uh, finish the processing on the original file. Um, and then next we'll move on to, um, we want to do an LRGB uh, combination. So go on to LRGB and then select the different channels. So H1, sorry, 814 is the, uh, we'll do the luminance layer. Red is 658. Green is 555 and blue is 435. Uh, hit apply global. Uh, this might take a while, so I'll just uh, cut back to that when it's finished. Uh, so that's it done. And we'll just stretch that quickly just to see the, uh, the outcome. That looks good, looks a bit pink, but we can get rid of that in a second. Let's just close all of these down because we don't need them anymore. that command zero just to make it a bit bigger so we can see what we're, we're working with here um, the next thing we'll do is uh, just a quick background neutralization drag the triangle in there so we're selecting the whole image as the reference image for background neutralization um, and we'll just restretch it to see if that changes the detail there we go it's looking good and um, what I'm going to do also quickly is just rotate this image um, 
just because I prefer it in a different direction. So let's rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise. Command zero again, um, so there we go, it's looking good. Close rotation. Next on to color calibration. Um, so we're gonna use um, optional Alt N to select the inner part of the galaxy for the white reference. And then we're going to find um, as dark an area as possible, I think up here works, um, for the background reference. that triangle into there to do the processing um, and stretch again and you can see that the, um, the the colors are kind of coming through looking a bit more natural now um, you've got some great HA areas in this galaxy as well um, and then the final stages of this is just to um, do the final stretch so uh, do a stretch in screen transfer function select the, um, the image that we want to stretch Drag the triangle onto histogram transformation um, and apply that transformation. First, it will look bright white. We cancel the screen transfer um, transformation, um, and that's that done. And then, all I'm going to do now is just a quick curves um, on this particular image. So, preview. This, this is all personal preference anyway, but um, just trying to trying to boost the contrast, but without sort of blowing out the the galaxy side itself. And then let's just boost the saturation a little bit. Um, trying not to go too crazy, but um, I think that looks really nice. Let's just apply that. Sorry, hitting the square to apply apply it to that image. the preview um, and that's our final image um, so that's pretty much it um, just a, a, a whistle stop tour through um, through the processing of Hubble images um, using PixInsight um, thank you for watching if you like this video then hit that thumbs up um, if you want to see more videos like this or, or anything else then uh, hit subscribe and the bell and, and maybe post a comment as well so um, I get to understand what, what videos you like and what uh, what you'd like me to cover in future um, so I'll just leave you uh, with this image in the, uh, at the end of this video um, and you can just see the sheer amount of detail that is, um, is present in this image because there is a ridiculous amount of it. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching and um, see you later.